everybody, it's your favorite cryptid, Gaz. Today I am here with two of the BFF dolls, and I'm excited because I have one from Series 1 and one from Series 2. Series 2 just showed up at my Target. I did not check Walmart, but Series 2 just showed up at Target. Because I know Series 1 had been uh, floating around for a while, and like I've been keeping an eye out because there's a particular doll from season Series 2 that I absolutely want. Um, and it's Ella, because she is strawberry themed. And if you know me, then you know how much I love strawberries. So I want her. Um, but so far, I've only seen Hannah and Jazzy, which Jazzy is the one that I picked up because I do like her hair. And then from series one, um, the only ones that I saw in store was Phoebe and Jenna. So I ended up picking up Jenna because I like her rainbow hair. I'm, I'm kind of picking the ones that have like the multicolor hair um, or pink. But I never seen Dottie or Kate, so I couldn't pick those two up. But um, I'm really hoping to hopefully find Hana, Hannah um, in one of the stores. So yeah. Uh, today we're gonna open up both of them. We're gonna start with, I'm gonna put Jazzy to the side for right now. And we are gonna start with Jenna. So this is my first time opening up uh, a BFF doll. Uh, I didn't even know these were a thing until I saw them at the store and I thought the, uh, the packaging was really neat. Because it's not so much a surprise doll, it's definitely a, uh, you get to see, um, who you're getting. And I simply love that you can spin this around and she has like different little poses and different expressions. I think that's super cute. Like that's absolutely adorable. So yeah. I'm just gonna go, go through and just cut away all of the tape first. Holding the box together. As I like to tell everybody, if you're opening up boxes, please, please be careful with a box cutter. I've already stabbed myself several times with my X-Acto blade, even though it's an X-Acto blade and not a box cutter, but um, my box cutter's in the other room and I don't feel like um, grabbing it, so. All right. So the inside is like a little room, and so long as you don't destroy the box, you can actually probably read this. So that's super cute. You get like a dresser tank. And then she gets a headband. Um, scissors. Steps inside. Staring right in front of me. Okay. Here's the headband. Oh, who that is? There we go. How cute that is. To the side. Let all of the unnecessary stuff into the trash goes. Okay. I'm gonna open this side. I did cut you, right? I thought I did. Come on. Pull this out and there's more to it. Excellent. Alright, cool. I didn't lose the integrity of the box. What I was hoping for. Oh, she's a little bit attached. Okay. Alright, that was actually very painless. So let's start with the box. It's unfinished. So, this is the interior of the box. Ah, uh, that's super adorable. I love that how it looks like a room. Oh, and this actually comes out. Oh, that's neat. So you can actually like kind of put this to the side. It is just a hit of the inside here, but it's kind of neat that you can kind of make it 3D. Like it, it has like a 3D effect going. So that's really cool. And I know this is where all the accessories are, so we'll put that to the side as well. But yeah, so this is inside of the box. I 
may or may not keep it. Um, usually display pieces like this, I will typically just kind of put behind when I display the doll. But currently I don't know where I'm going to be displaying Jenna. So I may just hold this off to the side and I'll probably trim away the, uh, the tops here. Just so I have like basically a clean stuff and then I can like kind of fold it out. So yeah. So I'll actually just go ahead and... Pin this back together, like so. There we go. That's not so bad. And we're just gonna put her off, put her box off to the side. Off to the side means on the floor. All right. So I believe you open it from the top. Okay. So once again, just be gentle. And then it should just off. Oh, she just oh she's just gonna come right out. Hold on. That's what the tube looks like. And then oh foil. We brought drop down a little bit. Sorry, I'm always messing with the camera angles. There she is. Hmm. She's got a big head. <laughs> oh, you're just gonna come right off your stand. Cool. She got an absolutely a big head. That's the first, that's definitely the first part of her I'm noticing. But alright. So, let's take her jacket off and let's look at her. I'll go, I'll look at the jacket here in a second, then we'll also go over the accessories. Alright, so she is a extremely poseable doll. I love, love dolls with articulation. She's got wrist movement, she's got elbow movement, and then she's got it at the, uh, at the shoulder. So she has that type of poseability, so you can definitely do a lot with her. Um, let me look under here for a second. She's got hip pel uh okay. hip thigh pelvic area uh posability and she's got a knee and she's got a knee. She is awkwardly like all leg though. She's like an all leg doll. I don't know how I feel about that. That's alright. She's got blushing on her knees. Super cute. Does she have blushing anywhere else? I'm sorry. I'm just like look, lifting your dress up, ma'am. Um, no. It looks like her all her blushing is on her knees. She has no blushing on the elbows or anything. And then not on her either. Okay. So she's super cute. I like her. Her hair. I'm not good with doll hair, so I cannot tell you what kind of what kind of material this is. It is super, um, but it is nice. It's nice to touch. Um, I have a lot of textural issues, so, and I have opened dolls and toys in the past that I picked up and then immediately put back down and just kind of flung it away from my hand because the texture of it was horrendous. But her hair is nice to play with. And I think it's because these dolls are meant for like a younger, like a younger crowd, like a, uh, a younger set of kids, that the hair kind of has to be nice to play with. Otherwise, a kid may not want to touch it. Does she have... No, her hair is just... So her hair is done up in a high ponytail with a clear, the clear elastic. And then she's got bangs. Surprisingly, she has no product from what I can tell. Like, her bangs are not gelled down, her hair's not gelled down, she doesn't have- if she has product, it's probably somewhere in the middle here, but I don't really feel it. So like, there's nothing holding her hair in place. Her hair is just, I guess, styled that way, and I, maybe that's the- maybe that's the, the whole heartbeat dependent on the material of the hair that's being used here, but I think that's really nice that there's not too much- like, there's not a whole lot of product. Again, because it's meant for, like, a, a younger kid, you don't want to put too much stuff on the doll 
that if this kid decides to just kind of, you know, full fist her head into their mouth and chew on their hair, they're not, and chew on the hair, and they're not getting any hair product in their mouth that shouldn't be in there. Like, obviously, you know, you've got Rainbow High Dolls and Monster High Dolls and the LOL Surprise Dolls that do end up with product in their hair. But because that's meant for, you know, all older, like, older kids and, obviously, and you know, older people, um, they're not sticking the dolls in their mouth. But this is meant for a younger crowd. This is meant for, what age are you saying this is for? This is for three plus. So, like, eight, so, you know, ages three and older. You're giving this to a three-year-old? I'm not saying they're gonna chew on her hair, but maybe they're just like wanting to put random stuff in their mouth. They're gonna want to put her hair in their mouth. I have not met a three-year-old who has not tried to put something in their mouth. So she needs to be free of hair product for that reason. So I absolutely love that she has no product in her hair and her in her bangs are just staying that way. I'm a little it's a little funny that they're kinda wink to the side there, but you know, nothing a little a little too adjust but yeah she's super cute she's got really big eyes um she doesn't have it doesn't appear to have any heavy makeup on she's got you know got little wings here she's got like her pink lips and then you can't really see them but she does have pink eyebrows so that's cute as for the dress the dress is a stretchy material um it does look like it's it's not hemmed because there is, if you pull on it, there is a little bit of, um, stretch there. Well, I mean, it's elastic, but what I mean, like, there's a little bit of, um, tearing. So it may be hemmed, it may not be hemmed. Again, I'm not quite familiar with all clothing, but it looks like that if you pull on this over time, it probably will rip, it will fray. So, there's that. So, we're gonna put her back, and then I'm gonna look at her dress jacket so the jacket the jacket it has a finished line here it is this one is sewn over so it has a little bit of give on the edge here uh it has wings it has those oh kind of like a styrofoam thing going on with the wings this one's already kind of bent so like this material is very fragile very pliable but very fragile and yeah like her dress uh, her jacket has this really nice um metallic glitter going on. Oh, and they have little star buttons. That's super cute. And then, yeah, this just goes over the dress. So, her. I'll get her, I'll dress her back up uh, when I have everything. I'm pulling out all of her other pieces now. Okay. That's super cool that this just kind of just opens and closes so you can put everything back inside. That's really neat. All right, so like earlier, she came, uh, she comes with a hairband, little ears. It's kind of like a, hmm, I don't know what color you would call that. I want to say turquoise, but that might be a little too light turquoise. She comes with this really uh, pretty blue uh, necklace. A little opaque. Her shoes. Do they have a mark on them saying what foot they go on? No, they don't. Like, they're also like that turquoise with like yellow with the yellow wings and uh, the detailing on the feet. These are super cute boots. She comes with socks. Very basic socks with a with a stitch down the back. Very basic pink socks. There's a seam down the back. Okay. And then finally, she comes with a purse. Oh god, it's another one of those ones that has a... <laughs> okay, that one's actually a lot easier to work with. But yeah, so she has this cute little purse. Alright. So let's reassemble her. I love when dolls come with socks because, you know, you think I can put my socks on in real life? I can't. I struggle. I'm an adult and I struggle with my socks, so, like, toy manufacturers mock people like me 
who can't put their socks on correctly by, by being like, here, have a doll that you have to put socks on. You should have saw me with the Na Na Surprise dolls in uh, one of my earlier videos. I cried a little bit trying to put those socks on those little itty bitty feet. I love these boots, too. They make me think of galoshes, and I would love to have a pair of galoshes. <laughs> you know, to go romp stomp. She is ready to go romp stomping in the water. Like, she's gonna see a puddle, and she's just gonna go wham into that puddle. Maybe because she's cloud themed, maybe that's why. Maybe she likes a good, uh, she likes a good rain, uh, you know, a good rainy day. Because she knows there's gonna be puddles for her. Okay, let's get her jacket back on. This is what I like about elbow articulation is when a doll has an over an overcoat or a jacket, something that goes over their regular outfit, you can bend the arm back easily to get it through the sleeves of the item. So I truly appreciate elbow articulation. If they don't el have elbow articulation and they have like an overcoat like this, I I hate it. It is pub it is horrendously irksome to get anything on them when they have something like that. I'm gonna get a necklace on. Of course, we gotta get her little hairband on. And we gotta get her little hairband on. Excuse me. Does it, does it like hide in her hair or something? Oh. That's not how that's supposed to go, but that's how that's going to go right now. I am not going to even try to spaghetti that, so we're just going to let it hang on her. And there she is! There's Jenna with all of her accessories. She's super cute. Again, she's like all, she's all leg. She has a very, very scrunched body. She's all leg, but she's super cute. I love her. Very adorable. And of course, we have another one we gotta open. We can't spend too much time with her, but here she is. All right. Let us get the other one. All right. You guys didn't need to see me opening her up. Unfortunately, uh, she wasn't a clean break like the first one. There was a little bit of tearing because uh, there is adhesive on the bottom of the tube. So if you want to try to keep this as in perfect condition as possible, do keep in mind that there is adhesive. But this is the inside of Jazzy's uh, box. What hers looks like. Hers is a lot more detailed than Jenna's was on the account that there's a lot more going on in this one. But it's super cute. And again, I may keep them if I keep them as display backgrounds, that's what I'm going to end up doing, is just uh, holding them out. Oops. So. We got her... Accessories, her boots, her hat, stuff, yep. Set off to the side, and let's get Jazzy. Almost forgot the... Here's Jazzy! Once again, they, she is all, all leg. Okay. We already went over the body articulation. However, I would like to point out the fact that she does not have any blushing on her knees. So she is from series two. And I think I quite remember somebody making a comment on the fact that the series two dolls no longer had blushing. So like, this is just a compare. So comparing her to Jenna is the fact, like is that's kind of like one of the only differences is that she no longer has blushing. But she does have a little bit more, um, more makeup going on. Like she has blushed cheeks and of course she has those pink eyebrows. Uh, her eyes are brown. And again, she has no product in her hair whatsoever. 
it's just styled like that. It's a very soft hair, no product, held together. Oops, there's a little bit of tangle. I can fix that with a little bit of brushing. Um, and held together with two clear elastics. Her jacket is a tech. So remember how I mentioned textures that I don't like? Her jacket is one of those textures. It is almost like a fleece. It is soft. It's very fleecy. Um, definitely not something I like touching. So I'm going to try to not touch that to the best of my abilities. So I'm just going to hold her arms out. But it kind of has like a part fleece, part denim uh, detail going on. Like this part's nice to touch. Um, so that's her, that's her jacket. She has this nice, again, denim uh, dress, spaghetti strap dress, super cute with these detailing down the side of this yellow and purple, and then of course it's pinned at the, uh, at the bottom. Yeah. Not a whole lot to talk about since a lot of that when we went over in the first doll. I just absolutely love her. She's another cute one. They're all cute. Like, they are super different than my usual crowd. They're a little bigger. Yeah, I think they're a little bigger than the OMG Queens, but still they're cute. So let's get her socks on. Let's dress her up. Her socks have a little bit more going on for them. Um, her socks are like a pale pink with that yellow and blue band. So her socks are a bit more exciting. Uh, than Jenna's were because she kind of has like that tube, tube sock thing going on. I like her boots. Uh, her boots are something I would wear. They are a pink with a purple uh, sole and then yellow, uh, a yellow tongue and laces. Come on, get it on, get it on there. Get your foot in there. She feels like the sporty kind. Like, I mean, if her if her backdrop already having like skateboards wasn't already a dead giveaway that she's kind of sporty, I feel like she's the kind that's like already going out like playing soccer. She should have came like with like a soccer ball or something. She's ready to go. She could stink if I posed her. Okay, they, she stands on her own. Okay, and then she also comes with this necklace. It's interesting they all come with the same necklace. I don't know if that is a significance. She has a pretzel purse. Pretzel purse. Cute. Love that. And then her hat. She's got a little dinosaur visor. I think that's super, super cute. It's not gonna sit right, but I'm not it's terrible. Alright, so there's Jazzy! She is very adorable. I love her. They're both cute. I just don't know who I like more. I think I like Jazzy more, actually. Uh, I like Jazzy more because, well, I'm biased and she has a lot more pink in her, uh, in her outfit and her hair. Jenna is cute, too. Um, Jenna has an easier to touch outfit than Jazzy does, unfortunately, because like I said, the fleece on her jacket just, uh, squicks me out, unfortunately. And her hat's super cute. I, her hat would look cuter if it was actually on properly, but you know me, I'm, I struggle with accessories. But yeah, she's, she is ready to go. Can you do a split? She can. Look at that split. <laughs> Excellent. Alright. Get her on her stand. I also do love that they, uh, that part of their tube becomes their stand. So, like, they, if you hold on to the tube, they are easy to pack up and move if you have to like move your displays for whatever reason. So there they are. So you know the BFFs? 
from series uh, series one and series two. I definitely am going to be trying to pick up uh, Hannah from series two again because she's strawberry themed. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm your favorite cryptid. <laughs>